वेलकम टू वी एस आर ट्रेक इन फो यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब टू रिसीव न्यू नोटिफिकेशन हाई वेलकम टू वी एस आर ट्रेक इन फो यूट्यूब चैनल दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट इज एल ई डी लाइट हार्मफुल टू ह्यूमन आईज ऑलवेज आर्टिफिशियल लाइटिंग हैज बिकम ए कॉन्ट्रोवर्सरी फ्रॉम द एजेस Nowadays LED lighting has revolutionized and became so popular that slowly it began to replace conventional lighting systems unaware of the negative effects it brings to human ophthalmologists and researchers are constantly warning on the prolonged use of such systems like mobile phones LCDs LED TVs computers laptops and LED bulbs etc This video makes a journey from incandescent lamps, the first electric bulb which is now absolute, fluorescent bulbs and to the present LED lighting which uses solid state light emitting diode LED. How they are made and their working is presented in the form of video. At the end of the video, how high intensity white LEDs are made from the combination of colors and what causes harm to human eyes is presented in brief for awareness and to safeguard ourselves from the negative effects they bring journey from incandescent to led bulbs most common types of lighting fixtures are incandescent bulbs and fluorescent lamps Incandescent bulbs are old, outdated and are replaced with fluorescent lamps in a lot of applications. There exist two variants of fluorescent lamps, fluorescent tube lights and CFL, compact fluorescent light. LED light bulb. LED stands for light emitting diode, a semiconductor device that converts electricity into light. LED lights consume less energy than incandescent, halogen and fluorescent lights and are widely used nowadays in most of the applications. LEDs are smaller in size. Several LEDs are needed to make LED bulb of desired wattage. An incandescent lamp consists of a glass envelope, a tungsten filament wire, support wires to hold the filament. lead in wires to supply current to the filament an exhaust tube to empty air from the envelope and fill it with gas a base to hold other parts mount the lamp and make electric duct working principle of incandescent bulbs an incandescent lamp generates light when electric current heats a tungsten filament wire encapsulated in glass spiral which is free from air this vacuum spiral so that filament blows the tungsten slowly evaporates due to heat as the lamp continues to operate the lamp fails when the filament loses enough tungsten due to aging or breaks from shock they are easily dimmable incandescent lamps can be categorized as conventional or halogen according to the gas field in the lamp which affects the efficiency life and color of the lamp Based on light emission, the incandescent lamp is categorized as non-reflectionized or reflectorized. A non-reflectorized lamp emits light in all directions and are the conventional types. A reflectorized lamp directs light into a beam and are mostly halogen lamps. The efficiency of incandescent bulb is low, which is a major disadvantage in terms of higher operating cost. and more heat in the room a fluorescent lamp consists of an inside phosphorus coated glass tube either straight u shaped or circular a filling gas such as argon cathodes at each end of the tube assembled inside tube which generate the electric arc mercury crystals which vaporize as the electric arc flows and emit uv radiation metal contact pins at the outside end of the tube which provide the electrical connection fluorescent and cfl lamp emits high proportion of blue light 
working principle of fluorescent lamp. An electric arc excites the gas in the fluorescent tube. Mercury in the excited gas emits ultraviolet radiation, causing the phosphorus coating of the lamp to glow. The glowing phosphorus creates white colored light. Fluorescent lamps require a ballast or choke and a starter in order to operate as well as special lamp holders. When the cathodes can no longer start the arc, the lamp will not operate. Fluorescent lamp is a very energy efficient light source that enjoys low operating costs and contributes little heat to the room. Fluorescent lamps are available in wide range of colors than incandescent. Possible options are warm, nearly incandescent tones, icy whites that are similar to daylight. In comparison to incandescent lamps, for a given lumen rating, fluorescent lamps use very less electricity and last up to 20 times longer. Screw-in and P-type CFLs can be used in place of incandescent in standard lamp sockets. Fluorescent lights are also dimmable. CFL lights are used in small fixtures such as down lights, wall scones, close to ceiling fixtures and track. LED bulb consists of LED bulb consists of LED panel which is mounted with several surface mount LEDs and electronic driver circuit which converts AC to DC to power up the LED panel and an enclosure in the shape of bulb to assemble all the parts together. Working principle of LED lamp a light emitting diode LED is a two LED semiconductor having PN junction diode that emits light when activated. When a suitable voltage is applied to the leads, anode and cathode, agitated electrons will recombine with electron holes within the device, releasing energy in the form of photons. This effect is called electroluminescence. The color of light is determined by the energy band gap of the semiconductor. High Intensity White LEDs There are two primary ways of producing white LEDs that generate high intensity white light. 1. To use individual LEDs that emit three primary colors, red, green and blue and then mix all the colors to form white light. Number 2. To use a phosphor material to convert monochromatic light from a blue or ultraviolet LED to broad spectrum white light, much in the same way a fluorescent light bulb works. There are three main methods of mixing colors to produce white light from an LED. Number 1. Blue LED plus green LED plus red LED color mixing. This can be used as backlighting for displays extremely poor for illumination due to gaps in the spectrum. Number 2. Near ultraviolet or ultraviolet LED plus RGB phosphorus. An LED producing light with a wavelength shorter than blues is used to excite an RGB phosphor. Number 3. Blue LED plus yellow phosphor. Two complementary colors combine to form white light, more efficient than first two methods and more commonly used. What causes harm to our eyes? LEDs do not disperse the light as that of incandescent and fluorescent lights. Light emitted from the LED travels as a beam, it is focused light. Even though manufacturers incorporated a dome on LED light bulb, which caters to disperse the light, the intensity of light emitted from the LED bulb is so strong that you cannot look at it for a shorter duration when it is glowing as compared to fluorescent light. LED strains the eyes. LEDs do not give off near infrared radiation, which is necessary for health. 
This type of near-infrared radiation comes from the sun, it is also emitted by incandescent bulbs and halogen bulbs. Near-infrared heat deeply penetrates the skin even though clothing. Near-infrared light, when it strikes the retina, it repairs and regenerates the retinal cells. LED lights are cool lights and cannot do this. Therefore, they should not be primary source of light throughout. Blue light problems with LEDs The other problem with LED lights is the huge amount of blue light they generate. Blue light is shortest wavelength light in visible spectrum. It is well researched and widely accepted as harmful to the eyes. Excessive blue light damages the retina, macula and photoreceptors. We also get blue light from the sun. This is one of the several reasons why sunglasses are highly recommended for outdoors. Blue light is strong in LCD screens, modern TVs, computers, mobile phones, tablets, etc. You might have heard the warning that staring at screens in the evening can disturb sleep. Thus, putting away the screens two hours before bed can result in better sleep. LED lights in your environment have the same effect. Lights are typically on between dusk and bedtime. Therefore, spending the entire evening exposed to LED lights can disturb sleep. Experts are calling for the lights to have built-in filters to cut out the blue glare. A recent research by Spanish team on LED lighting has found that LED lights causes irreparable damage to retina of human eye. Once the retina cells are destroyed by prolonged and continuous exposure to LED rays, they cannot be replaced and will not regrow. Researchers said this is caused by high level of radiation in blue band and is likely to become a global epidemic in the near future as computers, mobiles, TV screens, automobile headlamps and even traffic lights and street lights have been gradually replaced with LEDs. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like. We are Sartak Info.